Yes, 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 yes. Mbona siku ya street au kukuja na hii kitu? Nini si kukuja na uko na ufalme. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome back guys. Hapa ni Street Talk. Uh, I'm your host Mheshimiwa Bendawa na nimepatana na kijana barubaru. Tuwekeshagi. Tuwe bojo ine, tuwe kukugeshagi ine. <laughs> eh, tunataka kujua what is going on. Na hali ya nchi iko namna gani? Kwanza salimia my viewers, wabie wewe ni nani, what do you do? Yes, tuanze hapo. Oh, ni rahisi sana. Univosti ila kama kawa. Na hii mara ya pili una nini ni mara ya mwisho wa kwa 2019. That, that was the last time either 2019 ama 2020. So yes, yes. I'm happy to be back mm-hmm. kwa hii program yako ya Mheshimi wa Bendawa YouTube mm-hmm. channel. So kwa majina nimesema Univosti ila Eh, naweza sema mini artist si mvagi mi uchora that is that um, apart from that mini youth champion policy champion uh, as in mini vitu mingi ju nikiweza kusema uh, at the same time bado mini counselor eh? mini a, a whole package eh, mini whole package so any addict out there mm. you can reach out to me eh, nikusaidie kutoka kwa hiyo nini itoje kwa hiyo hiyo kasumba mm. so when it's come to things to do with uh, an in addiction mm. na kujanga ka addict counselor wazi 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 so uh direct to the to the main topic today eh? mm. so serikali ligia yeah serikali sasa ligia. ni miezi sita ni miezi saba ah saba saba eh zikaunti wetu vizuri kutoka tarehe 9 ama tuna count mpaka za supreme court ah, na acha na supreme court eh. tunaanzia tu pale pale from date 9 Yes. So, uh, hey, what are some of the hits and misses of this government? Maybe uh, unaweza irate aje ndio tuanze hapo. Uh tukisema to rate gava it is nini it is evident gava ijacheza ka ijacheza venye li promise common one I think you know. Another thing pia lazima tutuambie ni ukweli eh. Uh ukiangalia manifesto yao si hata waja make 0.01 ile ya, na, ya cherera mm-hmm. percent ku ku implement what they promise watu kwa nini zao kwa manifesto zao so it is evident that this gava not unless okay nasikia watu wakisema wapatiwe time eh? okay giving them time i've got no problem with that the problem ila kujia pale pa unajua if someone is making baby steps mm-hmm. towards achieving something unanga no there's something that this person is doing but the current government I think size wako attachment. <laughs> so after atacho tena I think next term ka mtawachagua. Yeah. So hapo hivyo ndio wataingia in turn. So mkita kuona watu wakifanya kazi safi mm. ni after 2032. Mm. So, of which Jika Ruto atakuwa president tena 2032. But as per now mimi nikaulizwa these people wako attachment na unajua venye msia kiwa attachment huo juu what is happening in that company or in that institution. Mm. So ni kufambo lui afanye hii lui afanye hii unasikia minister wa agriculture anaongea hivi wa trade anaongea hivi as in kila mtu anaongea Kenya kimeka mko wakili na wengine pia wanatuactia movie tunaona <laughs> <laughs> So then uh, kuna kuna hii argument DP amekuwa kisema uh, rigiji mm. so like they found uh, empty public coffers akuku na kitu then kuna debts zilikuwa zinawakibiza sana so ile pesa kidogo wanaokota pale mm. kwa, kwa KRA inatumika kulipa maybe uh, our massive servants and all that so kwa development kuna kuwa na tatizo kidogo i think that's the reason as to why nilianza na kusema these people wako attachment una get okay walipata empty coffers si mm. which means at the person who was running that government uh, naongea na assumption ya what the, what they told us which which means even the person who was uh, was uh, was running that government was running it ikiwa broke una get mm-hmm. but wao jamaa alikuwa anaweza kulipa wafanye kazi wote una get mm-hmm. so how come nyinyi mnaingia the same same you mnatuambia kuna do hadi mnashindwa kulipa wafanye kazi but when it come to trip manze tulichagua tourist umse ni country gani amebakisha kwenda disk ya lasema by the end of uh, next year up to june mm-hmm. anafahamu enda all countries in the world. So si tulichagua tourist na tourist kuna vitu zenye anaeka ka priority. Mm. Na one of uh, his priority ni kutua the world. Mm. So you workers, you government workers, it is high time niwaambie you have to wait 
kwanza tuingie each and every country after visiting those country then mtakuwa priority number 2 atujafika kwa ku implement government nini mm. programs ama government projects hizo zitakuwa maybe kwa number 3 number 4 mm. so eh, as per now venye tu umesema alipata empty coffers miyo kwanza nakata 100% jo there's no way unaweza pata nini unaweza pata accounts zikiwa empty na uweze ku spend do your design unakumbuka tukiambiwa ofisi ya preso imetumia do ngapi mm. ofisi ya ofisi ya deputy wake imetumia do ngapi mm. then ukiangalia vizuri unarudi ajiuliza is this country really broke are we broke are we really broke, mm. we, really broke? Mm. we are not broke mm. so at the same time tuombe tu wase changamkeni bala asieti kule tuko broke mmekuwa mkilia at sijui oh wase watoi wase watoi ushuru in fact ke, nini KRA that is uh, ile institution yenye inasaidia gava ku collect ta- taxes kwa hii kwa hii country is among top institutions in Africa zenye zina collect ta- uh, taxes sijui tuko number 2 ama number 1 tuacheze hapo hivyo number 2 number 1 ku collect taxes and there, there is no way inaweza kuwa KRA ina cheza kama wao ina collect do you KRA ina missing target yake kidogo sana kumaanisha inajituma if you look at uh, some other countries in Africa huwa wana miss their target na mbali sana hiyo ni kumaanisha our institutions are working but ikikuja kwa implementing uh, nini implementing what that money was meant for hapo ndo issue inakujia watu wanataka tu kutajirisha hizo tumbo zao na kuzifurisha na huku hivi mwananchi abaki akilia that, that is not in our data kidogo so tume, tumeona tuko sure na security yetu pia sisi una get since we are in a democratic country mm. so i think nitasema maandamano ziendelee na ziendelee ziendelee kabisa mm. beat server itafunguliwa mitafunguliwa mimi mm. nasema ziendelee kwanza mm to soften maisha ya common mwananchi una get yeah. so si unaona hata juzo umesema unga imeteremka mm. even though bado hajafika mashinani but kuna places kadha kadha unaona wana post unga inateremka mm. to me that, that's a positive stuff mm. so rawa endele ku push eh, living standards zirudi stima mm. at squeeze unaeka token ya so my friend ka uta, utakulkuna watch movie na lights zilikuwa on ulale kwa kiti hivi ukiamka hiyo so imeenda una get so kitu ya muhimu ni rawa push ahakikishe kila kitu kinarudi mali ilikuwa yeah so so kama leo eh, serikali inaonekana eh, huwa inazuia sana zile mikutano za opposition kama as we speak now kuna mkutano inaendelea pale Muranga mm. na serikali ya huko Muranga ilikuwa imekataza hizo mikutano do you, eh, do you feel like eh, tunarudi katika dark days kwenye huge express yourself Uh, tunasema moi bila moi bila rungu eh moi bila rungu tunamaanisha ni 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 ruto yani venye anafanya vitu zake somehow zina resemble how moi used to operate mm. so uh, Kenya tu tuna differentiate yeye yeah, na moi ni hana rungu but angekuwa na rungu tungesema moi is back so it is high time hata sisi wase wadogo mm. kama uwezi chomoka uende maandamano Sikuza hadi tuna protest kwa simu una get mm. you make good use of your gadget una get so that out to you not that we are happy mm. with the current situations una get mm. we are we are we are also suffering mm. una get so one thing to say me hakuna siku yenye minta Mungu mmoja hii hata nakaga na watu wa uda nawaambia nyinyi wase wa uda but mimi ni mkenya nowadays sijiita hata msewazimio mm. i want to reason like a typical kenyan mwenye anasema hii country kachomeka leo hakuna place nyingine ataenda na kaa ataenda place nyingine atakuwa IDP in that country una get so to me to be it asema watu wenye wana instigate ama watu wenye wanachochea vurugu kwa hizi ma, kwa hizi maandamano za rao ni government ni government aje ebu angalia early in the morning before saa 5 watu wanaimba wakio tu na furaha in fact i remember a day hata nilikuwa na nilikuwa naambia nini nilikuwa naambia mtu alikuwa tunaoacha na yeye hebu angalia leo makarao na watu wanasalimiana na ni maandamano that was in kisumu una get i don't know mwenda wazimu mgani karao alitoka wapi akapiga tia gas na kutoka hapo things were worse ni ule karao ule karao akufe things were worse huo mwenye sijui alikanyagona gari 
vitu zikakuwa ziko wazi so my point is uh, <coughs> kila mse ako na freedom ya ku protest una get mm. na another thing i've been telling people let's not uh, not pretend we are all human being we being human being uh, watu wameumbwa hivi if you see an opportunity you will make good use of that opportunity kweli mm. tuko kwa nini peaceful demonstration si ndio in that peaceful demonstration mm. police wakaifanya waka ikakuwa chaotic mm. then ishakuwa chaotic by good or bad luck mm. among us kulikuwa na wezo wamevunja duka umeona ni opportunity kwa kwa kuna unga what will you do Fai kuchukua kitu ya mtu vosti. No no you are very right but yeah. ina kuambia for free hata wewe mwenye tumesimama hapa na wewe. Mm. So hizi gari kianguka thika road. Mm. Na ulikuwa tu umetulia kwako usikie lori ya mchele imeanguka. Mm. Utekelea mguju ufai kuchukua kitu ya mtu. No, 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 according, no, 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 no. according to CRA uh-huh. the last uh, question mm. yenye ilikuwa inauliza as a good christian. Yeah, okay okay. Okay kuna CRA alafu sasa kuna real life vitu kwa ground sawa vitu kwa ground ni different we are human being na, and according to how we are karibu sana we are kenyans mm. una get bro mm. karibu sana we are kenyans ukiwa na opportunity you make good use of that opportunity hakuna venye utaniambia okay during that nini protest sawa mm-hmm. iwe kuna msaliko amefunga duka na katoka na do ana rush kuipeleka bank sawa mm. then hiyo bag alikuwa nayo ikaanguka do you, do you want to tell me what utaendelea na protest Let's reason out loudly my friend. Una get? We should reason out loudly mm. na tukubaliane on some on some issues kama human being na sana sana typical Kenyans because me na isema na isema ju sometimes na catch you analyze. Like what was happening in Kayole? Si hizi semani watu wazimbi watu wali waliamkata na usiku kuingia kwa duka za watu. Watu si wajinga bana. Okay, we might not know what is happening but mm. tunaweza create those those pictures in our mind tujua nini hizi kwa timu chana watu wameprotest na watu watu wakaenda kulala then usiku watu wanavunza maduka what is not happening in that place then kuna ile issue watu wakaingia pale kwa north lads wakaiba sijui mangodu uh, alafu wakaingia pale ile kiwada ya rao what do you take on that ni serikali ama ni watu walikuwa pia wao nasema unajua sasa uh, mp wa kikuyu ishongwa one of the most brilliant uh, politicians in Mount Kenya actually mko nao kama tatu tu eh, kama Mount Kenya una get mm. they are vocal they are smart una get eh, ni sema maybe tang yake ile sleep or else alikuwa anamaanisha Kenya alisema mm. alisema all enough hizo mashamba zenu bla 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 hizo viwanda zenu hizo mali zenu hata sisi tutaenda kuziharibu tutaenda kuzichukua una get mm. then after two, three days the same same thing in alisema ina come to happen my question is mm. is he a prophet but because you are also a politician yes. the, the other side of the divide mm-hmm. which is opposition mm. could have taken the advantage of the situation uh, i like your reasoning not you are, sometimes it's good to reason like a politician like an economist you get mm. so nataka ku reason ka politician na come to kona akili yake timamu si ndio as a smart politician I could have uh, I could have organized youth to end to vamia nini hiyo shamba si ndio mm. but sasa shida iko hapa uh, mtaenya watu walichukuliwa so, some of us like personally have friends there na i can tell you who was doing that but stay fun, stay same across screen you get so of which what they did they did it uh, there's no need of uh, of going into detail Uh, kusu a past event una get mm. so i think the wa- the worst thing kusema hapa ni mm. eh mayut if unatumika wendo ibe kwetu eh. wendo ibe bro <laughs> sawa mm. wendo ibe but ujue hii dunia ina kugatu ina kugatu ina kugatu nini ina kugatu ina kugatu inajua ku balance na ina balance everything in details mm. so ikikam ni ku balance yeah. ita balance my friend so when it come to kwa hiyo story ya ku balance i remember there's a time mm. orengo aliambia wase kula time inafika anga gavana kula watu wake akukumaliza hata miezi sita dede nyoro was crying like a crying baby the same same government that he is serving ilikuwa inamdishi so i'll still tell uh, these politicians when you organize youth kufanya vitu wrong a time is coming when your opponents or the public will organize themselves against you 
Umeget? Sawa sawa Buste. Mm. Atuwezi maliza hii story yeah. leo yeah, ni kweli, kubwa kweli, sana kweli, na, kweli, na tutarudi hapa kwa channel tena na tuoge na tuoge. Mm. So I want you to take uh, two minutes. Mm. Uh, moja you advertise or you market your brand. Yeah. Uh, penye watu wanaweza kupata, penye watu wanaweza kupeki uh, kazi mm. tusikuone huko kwa maandamano. <laughs> <laughs> maandamano ni kwa lazima na tutaenda. Uh, In fact hata umenikosea leo sana kuniambia niko na shughuli na wewe Moranga Moranga was supposed to be in Moranga. Yes, I was supposed to be Moranga. Sasa unajua kumenyesha boss watu wanapalilia mashaba wanalima alafu kitu nalifresha kumenyesha mm. pia gas kikuja kuna maji tu imesimama imestagnate kwa barabara ni kuosha uso na twende kalero hiyo nyinyi ni wale watu wa violence <laughs> anyway <laughs> eh yo market yourself mm. uh, tell us where we, we can find you nini mm. na hizo tattoo kuchora wapi wapi nini nini mm. then mm. <clears throat> you take f- one minute mm wogereshe vijana hapa nje uh-huh. kuna wenye wametadikwa sana na hii ma, ma addiction za drugs okay. nini mm. just uh, give some hope okay. to the hopeless okay thank you shika uh wase wangu wa light nimeambiwa ni wa, ni washo mimi ni nani what i do na mwalimu leza ni get so nitasema naitwa naitwa voice ya ila ama ama tattooist hiyo ndo job yenye nalilipa as per now uh, apart from being a tattooist pia ukapata job ya MC ni ite eh uh, mimi ongea sana na hype man bado si unajua still uh, still boys ni ule dancer so so eh uh, kikamni stories za tattoo naweza nipata through this number that is 07 16 045 277 that's my official number hiyo hata upige saa kumi saa tisa saa ngapi utanipata uh, facebook najipata ka vosti aila that is my official page uh, ya kazi inaitwa aila art tattoos so kingia pale vota utapata kazi kazi zangu uh, i think uh, it is high time pia niwaambie is this one i always do it for charity cuz uh, my passion for youth inakuga tu juu kabisa so Whenever you have any issue ya yeah, addiction tutasaidiana uh, nitakusaidia ka youth kutembea uondoke ujaribu kuondoke hii kasumba um, na tulisema addiction is a disease like any other disease una get so tuache kuangalia watu addicted kama watu wenye walipotea kwa society ama nini ama nini cuz how people are as a two venye maybe unafanya vitu mtaani nile ujajipata place yenye wako so Uh, nini watu addicted the only way we can help uh, we can help them one it is to show them love tuonyeshe love uh, tukijaribu kuwa correct na ku correct mtu si vita ku correct mtu si kumpeleka rehab by force ku correct mtu ni ku make understand what you na yeye mnataka ku achieve uh, na nikijaribu tu kuingia kwa addiction kidogo ni sema uh, when it come to addiction it's not all about drugs peke yake una get you might be addicted to sex you might be addicted to masturbation you might be addicted to gambling una get so all those uh, those nini those types of addiction muki kam ndakusaidia ku nini ndakusaidia to walk pamoja tuweze ku kuondokea hii kasumba so nimesema my official number is 0716045277 official uh, facebook page Vosti Aila. Yes. Asante ni. So nikikam sasa kwa ile issue yenye nilikuwa nimeambiwa issue ya kuongelesha youth. Eh? Um since uh, youth have been very passionate about uh, youth agenda and issues that affecting uh, our youth. I'll say this. At some point we give our, oppress- uh, our oppressors opportunity or chances to do so to us. I remember before election uh, nilikuwa nikipreach nikiambia wase eh, na, eh, eh, kama atuko kwa hiyo nini kama atuko kwa hiyo kwa hiyo kitchen then hatutaki kukua kwa hii process ingine yote tunataka tukue kwa kitchen na ndo tukue kwa hii process yote hadi process ya kukula okay kulienda venye kulienda cuz you the same same youth mlikata kutumia kili Mulikubali kubeba ujinga ujinga and that's why most of you saizi mnahangaika ukivimitani wenye walikubali kupitia 
barabara nini wale kata walikubali kupitia zile barabara zenye zikoza itajika maybe vitu zikawahapenia wengine zikakataa kuwapenia wali accept like personally mimi nili accept nili accept aje nili accept zile agenda zenye kwa na push kwa mtaa zenye ziliingiana i'm happy ziliingiana zenye zilikataa kuingiana i'm happy azikataa kuingiana and i live to fight another another day so with that spirit najaribu kuambia aje one is one let's learn to accept who we are una get cuz hakuna kenye utafanya kubwa sana ku change who you are and you will never change who you are hakuna venye utaamka leo useme eh mimi ni bendawa okay mimi kama bendawa mimi leo nataka kuwa raia you will never be raila una get you build who you are build your brand una get na mimi huambia kila msemu hakuna msemu nimekutana naye kwa ground kakosa kumwambia beat unaitwa john minor Beat na ito vosti aila you are, you are your own brand so build your brand so that uweze kuheshimiwa na watu wengine pale nje the, the likes of crazy kena let me uh, use him as an example the, the like the likes of crazy kena he's he's who he is now because i'm a build yeah yeah kama yeah yeah kama brand so my advice kwenu let's work on ourselves before wanze kuwakia any other politician huko nje am wanze kuwakia any other bwenyenye fulani huko nje first work on yourself build yourself and after building yourself utajipata sasa pale wendi kuombwa unaombwa your, your services but with hours inakuwaga unaenda unaenda nikae unajipatiana then after umejipatiana you being used dumped unaanza kusema oh eh hey, atuko tumeongea hivi no ni wewe ukuonyesha who you are and the value that you have. Sawa? So tujijenge. Na mimi nikisema tujijenge si tujijenge nchi. No. Jijenge via you kujijenga nchi itajijengea wewe ukijijenga. Una get? Tu nikitumia example. Sasa hizi nikaamua kujijenga kama carpenter. Let me use that as an example. Nijijenge ni via carpenter. Nianze kutengeneza maviti kali kali zio zina by ward na ministers. By that itakuwa na jenga nchi. So Work on yourself, build yourself na tujenge inchi after tumejijenga. Yes, asanteni sana.